So I have to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed over the lack of progress that I made this spring and summer on our carnival ride restorations. It was a very busy season. One of my daughters uh, was moving and we're the kind of family that when somebody needs something, we all tend to circle the wagons and do whatever it takes uh, to get that done. So there was a bunch of remodeling that needed to happen uh, to facilitate that move. And that pretty much consumed all of my weekends and most of my evenings, uh, not a lot of free time left over. But moving into the fall here, I'd like to set myself up so that I can get some stuff done over the fall and the winter. And one of the things that I have hanging over my head is that I don't have access to a vehicle that I can use to move big things like full sheets of plywood. I have this ambulance and it has been out of commission for the better part of a year. Uh, we blew a steel brake line about a year ago and I replaced that. But when I went to bleed the brakes, the bleeder screws were completely frozen up and I didn't have time to deal with it at the time. So it's just been sitting here ever since. So I would like to get this thing back on the road, get it inspected and be able to use it. We have some nice weather today, maybe the last nice weather we have for quite some time. I'm going to dig into this, see if we can't get it running and get it back on the road. I've been storing cardboard in it for recycling, but it also has all the seats for the Ferris wheel in it. We need to get all this uh, cardboard off to recycling. Let's see if we can put some heat on it. If we get it in there or not. 20 minutes later. Pop free. All right, well, let's get the coil out. See if that does anything. All right, let's move up to the front and see if that's any better. We're able to bleed the brakes on the passenger side of the ambulance, but both bleeders on the driver's side are frozen. Now at least we can see it. thing I don't want to happen is to have this break off in there. Well off camera I managed to break off the easy out inside of the uh, bleeder. So now we got it up here in the milling machine. All right we're pretty well centered. Gonna mill just a little bit more. Not sure how much more we need to get rid of that easy out. It's in there further than I expected. That's it. We got it. Reverse. I really 
really don't want to break this off in there. Is that the whole thing? I think that's it. to see if we salvage this or not. Okay. All right, let's try one last time here. All right, moving to the back. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this box elder bug has been going around this circle for about five minutes now. I guess he hasn't quite figured out that he's just going around in circles. Well, serves him right. I hate those little guys. That's one. Well, that came off surprisingly easy. I wonder how little of this I can actually take apart. Let's see if I can get that nut off first. That's the main thing. Well, that's coming off. That's a good sign. Boy, I can see how having the right tools would really help this job. Okay, those are both loose. If we can get the brake line off without stripping it, we should be in good shape. Okay.
mixers and stuff. Let me get a hammer. There it is. All right, we have got our new cylinder. Now let's make sure all our hardware fits. That seems like that's gonna work. All right, let's start it. Let's start it too. All right. No, this can't screwed up. What the hell? Now, can we get these guys in? One. And there you go. That's two. There we go. On the top. To here. gets lifted up. Cable goes behind the cable guide. That's in. Well, we got the brakes fixed and I managed to get it started after sitting for probably nine months. Next step is to get it inspected and then we'll be able to use it to help with our projects. And if you want to follow along with those projects, click that link to the left and come along for the ride.